There's a new and potentially deadly drug sweeping across our nation like a wildfire. K2 Spice, a nightmare without end, is about that drug. We'll begin after a quick word from these sponsors. I think everybody in the community, regardless of what economic background, needs to care about this. We need to care about our youth. We need to be uh, involved in projects like this. So, you know, we protect our kids. It doesn't matter what economic background you come from. Drugs plague our community from the richest families to the poorest. And this is just something that, you know, is dear to our hearts and I stand behind. Our schools should be the safest place in America. But the fact is, every five days, there's another school shooting. Tragically, it's not just the students who are in harm's way. More than one teacher in 10 is either physically assaulted or threatened with bodily injury by a student. But did you know that one of the safest schools in America is located right here in Jackson County, Oregon? The Shady Cove Middle School has installed the Nexar SOS school safety system designed by Future Concepts. The system enables a teacher to make direct connection between her classroom and the school office and local law enforcement. In this case, the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. In the event of an emergency, the teacher presses the alarm button. The video camera turns on, the lights in the hall outside the door light up, notification is sent to the school office and law enforcement emergency dispatch. This gives first responders eyes in the room so they can assess the threat and respond accordingly. Additionally, the teacher can summon a school nurse in the event of a medical difficulty or other staff in the event of behavioral problems. My number one priority is the safety of our students. When parents send their children off to school or put them on the bus, they entrust us with the most valuable thing they have, that's their kids. As a school principal, I have vowed to do everything within my power to keep their children safe, and we are doing just that. It's gonna give first responders real-time information uh, so that they can get there and act more quickly. Nowhere else does it exist that we have real-time information into the schools so it's no surprise that teachers, law enforcement personnel, and students believe this is the best safety improvement for our students and teachers in decades. Since the SOS stands for Save Our Students, it's a resource that's long overdue. Future Concepts means safer schools today. Gemini. So wake me up. Yeah. We wake up. Wake up, you gotta get up. The Kiss FM Traffic Jam. Check it. Wake it, wake Gemini is in the house on 107.5 KISS FM. Get off me. It's known by many names, but what it is, is a synthetic drug designed to mimic the effects of marijuana. It was first invented to help people who were sick deal better with pain and nausea, but scientists discovered it had some dangerous side effects, so they stopped making it. You're gonna love this. My friend Eddie. Hey Eddie. Trust me, it's perfectly okay. Right John? Nothing to be concerned with bro. It's natural and it's organic. You can trust us. Don't worry about it, dude. Have, have a good time. Hi, I'm Renee, and we're going to spend the next few minutes talking about a very dangerous drug. The truth is, all drugs can be dangerous, but this one is especially dangerous. It has a bunch of names, K2, Spice, Zombie World, Zombie world? Really? What we're talking about are chemicals made in a lab somewhere that are sprayed on plant material and sold as something that may give the user the same effect as smoking marijuana. Right now you're probably wondering, 
who is this woman and what does she know, right? Well, that's a good question. You should question what you hear, especially when it's about something important like this, because this is all about your health and your future. I'm a mom. I have two sons whom I love dearly, and I'm sharing this with them as I am with you. I'm going to tell you true stories about people who used K2 spice. I'm also going to tell you about how it affected their families. These are all based on what really happened to real people. In some of the stories, the names were changed to protect the privacy of the families. The first story is about a young man named Eddie in a story we call The American Dream. I was always so proud of Eddie. He was going to be the first in our family to go to college. That's why we came to America, for a better life. His dream was to be a computer game designer. If I would, if I would have known he was smoking that with that Joe, I would have... I never smoke or drink. That stuff's no good. Joe told me they bought this stuff called Spice. Joe thought it was safe because the guy they bought it from said it was safe. It's gonna be okay. Have a good time. They were so stupid to think this guy was their friend. All he wanted was their money. What the jerk wanted was money. He wasn't their friend. Stupidos. Stupid. Joe said at first that he was getting high. Then he got this strange look, like he was frozen. Then he just stared off into space. And for no reason, he attacked Joe. There's not enough room in here. What are you talking about? I found enough room in here! The cops had to take him to jail. They took him to a place where they take Los Locos. The crazy people. They had to tie him to his bed because he wanted to hurt himself. The next time I saw him, he was perched on his bed, flapping his arms and crowing like, <laughs> like a chicken. To see your son like that, we thought he would have a better life. The doctors say that he may get better, but not to hope too much. Hope? No hope. They said he hurt his brain. Stupid boys. Not the ending Eddie thought it would be. Or was it? A little fun? Did you think he knew better? We may never know. So there was a very important point to this story. Did you get it? If you said it's all about the money, you're right. The people who sell drugs only care about the money. They don't care about you and they don't care about me. It's just about the money. Our next story is about a young man with all-star potential. See if you can pick out the main message in this story we call The Love of the Game. We were a very active family. Kyle had a lot of friends. Great kid. Started playing football when he was five. Remember his first football game. They all look like those bobbleheads as they're running out onto the field. You know, their, their heads are bigger than the rest of their body. And he's running out, and I knew that he was gonna give it all he, he had. He didn't really care if he lost or won. He just wanted to play the game, and he played it well. Every sport he tried, he did just really exceptionally well at. He had just turned 15. He was hanging around with some new people, I suspected that he was smoking, had smoked regular marijuana. As much as I didn't like it, in my mind I'm thinking, okay, this is what is typical behavior from a 15-year-old. Like his other siblings, it would have probably not lasted long that he would have done the stupid things as a young kid and then went on to graduate and, you know, his line would have straightened down. Kyle was at school and he up and walked out of school. He walked home, loaded a gun, and went out into the woods 
and it sat on your tree. And something told him not to do it, not to pull the trigger. Said to his father, Yeah, Kyle, what's up? Dad, something's wrong with me. What's going on, Kyle? I can't be here anymore. I can't live anymore. Kyle, where are you? Kyle? You just... I don't want to be here. His dad called me, but just said, Kyle's acting very strange, and I think we need to take him to the hospital. While we were in the hospital, Kyle opened up and told me that he had smoked uh, spice. Mom, I smoke spice. And I said, where did you get it? Me and some friends bought it from this kid at school. So when, when Kyle went into the emergency room, the doctors uh, treated him for the side effects of the street drug, synthetic marijuana, with heavy psychotic medications, and it didn't work. He was transferred within a day, a bed became available, and that's when our nightmare started. So I contacted the moms of the few friends that he had actually smoked the marijuana with, the synthetic marijuana with. The outcome for these two other boys were that the one survived the drug, the other turned into a living nightmare for his parents and therefore had to be sent away. And Kyle landed in a psych unit. He went from the emergency room to a psychiatric unit. And within seven days, he was a zombie. Kyle has been hospitalized 30 times. He has undergone 28 electrical shock therapy procedures. He's been placed on 40 plus heavy antipsychotic medications and antidepressants. He's attempted his life nine times and we can't get him better. Kyle still feels his life is meaningless. These drugs took from him his youth, the things that he's wanted to do, his, la his athletic ability is gone. But not only did it take from him, but it took from me and his father and his brothers and his sisters. People need to understand that there's so many facets to what can happen if you choose to use a drug. One is death. One is getting in the criminal justice system, getting in trouble, doing things that you would not normally do. And the other is, takes you into a whole nother realm of destruction, and that is the psychiatry world. These drugs are not worth giving up what you had. I've developed these thoughts that no mother should ever have. And the thought that's been continuous in my head is this. Would it have been better for Kyle to have been successful in killing himself or the life that he's living right now? We'll be right back with more about K2 Spice after a word from our sponsors. This program is also brought to you by the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. People living in Jackson County are protected by dozens of resources, programs, emergency equipment, and highly trained law enforcement officers. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office prides itself in making sure its office is prepared for all ranges of emergencies and is able to respond within a moment's notice. It is the mission of the Jackson County Sheriff's Office to provide professional, ethical, and responsive law enforcement services while respecting the public trust given to us. Foundations for Recovery is a one-on-one -on -one peer mentoring program. 
uh, for people who are struggling with drugs and alcohol. You know, people just walk in here, we don't ask for money or anything. Um, they, it's simply, they come on their own, you know, if they, if they want help and they don't know where else to go, they come here. We match the, we match the client up with the coach um, so they understand exactly what it is the individual is going through. What we do is we'll, we'll meet with our clients weekly. Um, we take them to meetings if they need to. We help them set goals. Um, we don't tell them what to do here. Uh, we suggest, strong, strongly suggest what they should be doing. It, it's great that we offer help to anybody who wants to come through the doors. spaghetti meatballs so much. It makes it so hard because I don't have my meatballs yet. Wait for as long as it cooks. It's hard to. Here we are my friend. Got a fresh plate of hot meatballs. And I know you like your fresh cheese. That's good. All right. I smell it. It's kind of smelled. Mm. I smell it so much. It kind of smells like a little bit of garlic. <laughs> yeah, you got the garlic and the cheese. Here, yeah. do you need a napkin? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> Guess what? What? And this little coat is polyester and it doesn't wrinkle. Oh, well, good for that. Also, these little noodles here are the best, too. They are the best, too? Not only those. Not only those? Well, what do you think? What about the meatballs? Is that what it's all about? Yep. It's all about the meatballs? Yep. Well, let's see. And, if I, and those noodles. And those yep. noodles. Yep. Well, I am glad to cook you those spaghetti and meatballs. Yep. Okay. I'll taste one of the noodles. Yummy. Mm. I'm glad to hear that. And I love every meatball they're cooked for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure cooking for you. Even our smallest guest deserves the greatest service. Um, thank you for make me these wonderful meatballs. You are very welcome, Nova. Thank you very much for the compliment. It is our pleasure. When my parents asked me where I would like to go to my birthday, I said, capers. I love capers. It's my favorite restaurant. Oh, you should go to capers. organization based in Grants Pass. We want to see our friends and neighbors healthy and happy. That's why, since 1995, our goal has been to provide high quality care in our community that's truly accessible. Today we have more than 30,000 all care members throughout Jackson, Josephine, Curry Counties, and Southern Douglas County. They are served by a network of over 1,000 health care providers, clinics, and hospitals. With All Care Health Plan, quality care is never far. Dr. Bruce Logan of Oral and Maxifacial Surgery Center of Oregon. Did you get the main message? Not only are you hurting yourself, but you could also be hurting someone who loves you and someone you love. Our next story is about Max. Max's mom never had to worry about him. See if you can pick out the main point. I can't even tell you how many times I said, thank God, I don't have to worry about Max. Max was one of those kids that didn't get in trouble. He 
was very well liked. Max was the kind of kid that didn't want me to use chemicals to clean the house. He wanted organic cleaners. He didn't want me to spray the yard to kill the weeds. He didn't care. He just said, you know what? Those chemicals are too dangerous. He didn't eat fast food. So Max went to the mall with his friend. She was going to buy a hookah. So they went into the smoke shop and in the process of buying the hookah, the shop owner talked them into buying spice. These kids had a conversation that it must be safe. Is this safe? I don't know. It must be. You can buy it in a store. Well, they were wrong. Max's friend Emily smoked with him and it had no effect on Emily. And when Max got out of the car and walked into the house, he looked perfectly fine and she drove away thinking that her best friend was fine. And things went very bad quickly for Max. Um, and then one day, I was at my friend's house and I got the call that every parent dreads. People have nightmares over that phone call. I got it. And um, the police officer told me that Max had died in a car accident. So we got in the car and went to the hospital and I had to go see my son dead in the emergency room. And the police officer was standing right outside. He said people were calling 911 and reporting that Max was driving at very high rates of speed, driving erratically, weaving in and out of traffic. He told me that when the road came to an end, Max never applied his brake, and he flew 80 feet in the air and landed in a house and died. When my oldest son arrived at the hospital, I had to tell him that his best friend was dead. He's gone. And that was one of the hardest things I've ever done. And he said, Mom, I have to tell you something. He said, Max called me about a half an hour before the accident, and he said, Justin, I smoked that legal stuff, and I'm freaking out. And Justin said, take a shower, eat something, lay down, and you'll be okay. He called him back about 15 minutes later and said, are you okay? And Max said very quickly, yep, and hung up. And that was the last time anyone ever talked to Max. My beautiful son was dead. People think it's a marijuana alternative. After a few hours, I began to wonder what was that legal stuff? What was he talking about? And um, I started to find out very quickly. K2 spice, it's just chemicals sprayed on leaves. It's not a marijuana alternative. It's a very dangerous drug. These newer chemicals have never even been tested on lab rats. The kids are the lab rats. And the experiment is not going very well. Our psych wards are filling up. They're having heart attacks, strokes, seizures. They're having paranoid delusions and anxiety disorders, schizophrenia, bipolar disorder. There's so many side effects. The worst side effects is the brain. It's horrendous when you see kids with brain damage. Beautiful kids that have beautiful lives that are now sitting in psych wards wearing diapers and drooling. So this is nothing to play with. So many people are suffering that did not smoke spice. Um, the families that I talk to are in so much pain. They suffer. I'm suffering. I loved my Max. He was my world.
Did you get the point of that story? Max's friend Emily smoked exactly the same stuff and yet she had no reaction. You never know how a drug will affect you until you use it. This next story is another true story. We've changed the names to protect the privacy of the family. I have to warn you, these images are graphic. If Adam had his way, he'd always be fishing. He loved working with his hands. He was always building something. He wants to design skyscrapers, you know. But he loves fishing. We're proud of him. He, he got pretty much all A's in high school and in college. And uh, he was just trying to unwind after taking his final exams. Six weeks, he went to all his classes, and then the last two weeks, he, he was cramming for his finals. And he had to do well. He had, he had interviews with some impressive firms. And after a couple of puffs of spice, he, he, he just lost it. He, he said that the devil was controlling his hands and they were trying to kill him. And he's trying to reason with them. He's screaming at them. He's, he's he trying to shake the devil out of his hands and nothing's working. No! So he has an idea that he's gonna go to the kitchen, turn on the burners, and when they got red hot, he put his hands right on and they caught fire. Set off the smoke alarms. Fireman said it took six men to pull him away. When we got to the hospital, the doctors told us they couldn't save his hands. They had to take both of them. The point to this story? That's easy. This is your life. Not your friend's life, not your parent's life, not your teacher's life, but your life. You'll have to spend the rest of it living with the choices you make today. There's no one else like you in the whole world. So celebrate your value. Be good to yourself. This show has also been brought to you by People's Bank of Commerce, West Main Pharmacy, Josephine County Children's and Family Services, Medford Medical Clinic, America's Best Kids, Southern Oregon Auto Care, Big R, Tom Harrison of Oregon Opportunities, Angelo's Pizza, Answer Page. This production has been a community event and made possible by our sponsors. When you have a chance to do so, give them a big thank you because they have many places to spend their hard-earned money but they chose to invest in their community and help protect our children from this dangerous drug. Be sure to log on to DrugWars.com for more information about K2 Spice and other drugs that are hurting so many of our young people.